Eindhoven University of Technology is using challenge-based learning as one of its uh, methods. This method means that you introduce an uh, external stakeholder and uh, this external stakeholder has some issues which they themselves don't know the answer to yet. Students are asked to help the stakeholder out to find these answers. In the beginning of the project it was quite intimidating and sometimes just confusing what you were actually supposed and expected to do. It's the first time when I'm encountering the challenge-based learning and it's very different and difficult because I didn't know what to expect and how to solve the challenge. Uh, you don't have teachers kind of feeding things to you, you're relying on yourself. So the, the outcome is really a show of your hard work instead of a show of how well you can absorb things that people tell you. You really have to be creative and uh, find the answers yourself. Solving a problem feels more awarding than just studying um, for a grade. One of the nice things about this course is that uh, we combine uh, multiple disciplines. What we do in this course is that we link the ethics and the data analytics very closely together. And we do it also with the, with the stakeholder who brings in a, yet a third uh, discipline. And in this year's course, it's the brain on chip. I decided to take this course because I was quite interested in the technology that I was looking into uh, with the brain on chip technology. It's something really up and coming and I, uh, I thought it would be useful for my discipline. I really like the fact that it's a very interdisciplinary course. We can experience things we don't in our own like major. Uh, you also get to like work with people you don't normally work with. So yeah, I think uh, I think it's very nice. The students know very little about brain on a chip research, but we ask them to throw themselves in to try and understand the data analysis process and also to think about the ethical impacts um, of developing technologies such as this. We are actually busy with bringing real biological processes onto a chip platform. The key is here, we are working in the end with stem cells. Stem cells are harvested from a person. So once these stem cells are taken, what happens with these cells? What happens with your genetic material? That's the ethics stuff I think is really important. Open-ended assignments can be very different and difficult compared to what we have encountered so far in the universities, but they are very useful because when we encounter clients after we graduate universities, they are going to give us uh, just the topic on which they want us to work, so we would be basing our uh, end result on our knowledge. That's why I think it's very useful in the future. So by combining these different fields together, it exposes people to the fact that you can't always work in a vacuum. You could be working with neurologists, biologists, data analysts, for example, who will be there to help and support you in your work, but you still all need to communicate together to get the job done. I think interdisciplinarity is the key for future findings and the development of innovation, because in our times, um, I think new findings happen at the interface of disciplines. In challenge-based learning, we have all the different flavors of the students on our campus in one team. It's really refreshing and inspiring.